so I'm getting ready to go to the airport now, and I thought I'd make a quick sandwich. One for me, one for Josh. Um, for lunch, and I'll take it so I can eat mine in the airport. Um, so I'm just making him on this baguette, and I'm gonna use these like sandwich things. We'll see how that goes. But I've got tuna here. Maybe I should lower the camera. I don't know how to. Don't know how to tilt it down. But anyway, oh. got this. Some mayo. Cucumbers. Okay. Okay, so well, that'll be his sandwich. And then <laughs> my sad little thin one. But I just know, because I had a big breakfast, I had waffles. I won't be that hungry. Perhaps a massive spike surface. Okay. But at least I'll have something to hold me over. paper. It's really cute. <laughs> what are you gonna get? I'm gonna get a selection. <laughs> Do you want me to hold anything? No, that's fine. Okay. 
flexible to mm, so many options. Selection. Do you want anything in spe specific? Um, no. These look interesting. What are those? They're like the Schnecken, the Haribo oh. Schnecken. Do you oh, want to try one? yeah, I'll try one. Oh, I hope you like red. <laughs> I do like red. The Smurfs are good. I've never had the Smurfs. Oh, they're really yummy. What other ones? Quite Those are good, sweet. yeah. It's a bit rough. What's it, what's it made of? Yeah, what is it? Oh, tomato and onion. Tomato and olive. Oh my god, look at all the salamis. Oh my god, we could get some. We could just get stuff here. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to get it at this one or should we do should we go around? I mean we can get some here. They've got wild morning um i feel like i never even did an intro to this vlog so welcome um i will have put everywhere we went yesterday um and friday so you can see um but today's my last day we're about to head out to a bakery and get some bread for later because we bought all these little cute uh like nibbly bits like cheese and olives and salamis for us to have later when we're just relaxing um and then we're gonna go to breakfast at a really cool spot that Cass has taken all of our other friends, so I'm excited to go. Um, but I also wanted to show you what I got yesterday. So, I have to apologize, I'm just slightly hungover from <laughs> the party we went to last night, which I didn't bring my camera to, because we just checked our bags somewhere, and I was like, I don't wanna risk, risk it, um, but I might put a few, have put a few videos in so you will have seen. It was really cute and they went all out considering it was just a picnic in the park. It was so cute. Um, but before that, Cass and I went shopping and <laughs> so random. I picked up these napkins. Um, my parents always has, have napkins at their house so I thought that's cute to give them as a souvenir for the trip. And then we popped into a shop. So when I used to 
study in Berlin, there was a tea shop that I found called Paper and Tea and I become obs became obsessed with it. And they have this milky oolong tea that's insane. Um, and it's a bit pricey, I will say, but it's unreal and I haven't been able to find a tea like it anywhere else. So I went into the shop. We found it so randomly. We were walking and went into a sunglasses shop and this was next door. So I just found it. It's, um, the brand is called Paper and Tea, and it's an oolong tea. It's called Milk River. I think you could buy it on their website. Um, but yeah, I just bought 50 grams of that, and I'm so excited to go home. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on the floor, and I got some dust all over me. So excited to go home and have that. Um, and then, yeah, oh, and they gave us some two little free tea bags, loosely so I'll have to try that. Then we went to another shop called Dilla, Dilla and Camilla, and I got some work bits um, because it was the cutest cooking shop. So I got some wooden spoons. These were only one euro 75, so I thought that was quite a good deal. It was like Ikea prices. And then the cutest roasting trays. First of all, I literally fell in love with it. I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. And then I was worried I couldn't put it in the oven, but it is enamel, so it should be fine. They gave me an instructions booklet, so fingers crossed. And then I just bought another plain version, so I've got the two, and I'm gonna chuck some of our other gross oven trays. And I got a free bag, because if you spend over 10 euro that day, you got a free bag, so that's exciting. The weather's been like hot and cold so i've been wearing this sweater the whole weekend it's been amazing it's so soft and comfy i tried on a really cute sweater at one of cassie's favorite shops my friend who i'm visiting um but it was just sadly i don't know too itchy i'm really sensitive to like materials and it was just too itchy and i was like if i want to wear it i'm gonna have to wear it with um a shirt under it so Anyway, I'm gonna get up off the floor, finish my tea now, and then we're gonna head out for the rest of today. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was really cute. Mm. Danke. Are you gonna get some? Yeah, I think I am. I think I'm gonna get this one. Mm -hmm. I wonder, if, do you think this would look um, good on that? That's or cute. Not good? Yeah. I like the other one you got. But the thing is, it won't fit on top oh, of here. Yeah. Like I could, but then I'd need a new. Yeah. Like thing. avoided the rain and time for cheese. Yes. So it's like a nice wooden and it's good because you can like mix yeah. it with like the What's salami and the the brand granite. Oh Cute. I got it in the I got it in the Delicca Mina shop I think. Oh really? Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah that is where and I the got shape it. is good. Yeah. Do you have a mug preference? No, you can pick any. Maybe not one that's too small. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think probably... Put it in something that zips. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> We're also kind of stuck to it, but oh, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be good. I'll wash my hands again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 